Seven days after a robbery attempt in northwest Jacksonville where a gunman held 13 hostages at a credit union, Sheriff Williams walked through that neighborhood today. He asked people what was happening in that community and how police can help. Kent went along on that walk and is joining us live now from police headquarters downtown. Kent? Yeah, and as it stands, the sheriff's office says it was either coincidence or pure irony that they ended up being in the same spot where on December 1st they had to respond in force. Even so, it seemed like great timing for community conversations held in driveways and on porches. How you doing? Good, how are you? Hey, how are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Jacksonville Sheriff Mike Williams roaming this Northwest Jacksonville neighborhood Monday, and what you see here is what he's after. We've got to get people knocking on doors, and they can't wait for me every month, every six weeks to go do it. Uh, and the zone commanders have picked it up, the, the lieutenants and the officers. We've done over 150 neighborhood walks you know, in the past uh, 18 months or so. So we're out doing it. And, uh, you know, the, as we get more opportunities, we're going to keep doing it because I think the value's there. Well, you know what? To be perfectly honest, I'm glad to see something like that going on in the community. So, you know, I hope they keep it up. And the questions he asked, you know, I more or less was concerned about the lighting in the neighborhood. And they say they're going to take care of it. So, you know, I think everything's going to go well. William Turner is one of the people who lives in this neighborhood, who met the sheriff and voiced concerns if they had any. Speaking out when something happens, and even before something goes down, goes to the point of the walk. It engages the community members, it empowers them to let them know it's okay to break the code of silence, that they can't just sit around and do nothing and allow mess to continue to happen in our community. It's up to us to take our communities back. 11 days earlier, something was happening in this community first bank. JSO ended that hostage situation without violence and without anyone hurt. It was by the grace of God. I, I was thrilled. I was so happy to know that everyone was safe, including the suspect. I was so happy to know that everyone was safe because that's what we ultimately want. Assistant chief you were just hearing from says that she chose the location maybe two weeks ago. So it was a few days before what happened with the attempted bank robbery and the hostage situation. She also says people who live and work in that area shouldn't worry about going to that bank. She says it should be back to business as usual. They've got plenty of officers checking in on that location frequently. Live downtown, Cat Justice, Channel 4, the local station.